Hello friends. So we're starting this video at the grocery store and I decided that I wanted to start doing a new series on this channel which is um, cooking with with Remy, but instead we go to the grocery store together and we're gonna, I'm gonna pick out a recipe and then we're gonna get the stuff together and then I'm going to cook it at home, sometimes with a bud. Tonight I am doing it with a bud! Beautiful bud Paulina. Pa I said that weird. Okay, well she's gonna sit in there until we get kicked out apparently, but really um, I went to Starbucks today at the Grove. Oh, Monica's here as well. Today we went to the Grove and we went to Starbucks and they had a sign for this little, what was it called, like an apple tart thing? No, we're fired. Yes, so now we're inspired. So I went online and found a recipe that got five stars. So we're gonna get all the stuff for it and we're gonna make it and it's gonna be amazing. So, cooking with Remy, first episode, go. We need dark brown sugar, heavy whipping cream, butter, flour, sugar. Oh, we're making our own crust. Does that, does that uh, take a long time? I think I'm just gonna buy some canned dough, but. We will make everything else. Dark sugar, dark brown sugar, heavy whipping cream, unsalted butter, sugar, flour, cinnamon, cardamom. What is cardamom? Thank you for my camera woman sitting in the car. Someone asks us what are you doing? Oh, we're actually filming a video, so. <laughs> we're here with MTV. Ooh. It's gourmet ground. Oh. Come on. How beauty guru. <laughs> Thank you. All it's three all beauty gurus. Head. There we go. Ground cardam cardamom. Cardamom. Okay, cardam, I think it's cardamom. Literally, literally, it's like the take me with. I'm not even kidding. Oh, <laughs> okay, the recipe calls for six large Macintosh or golden same, which I don't really know my apples. I know these are Granny Smith, red delicious. All the rest look the same to me. So we have Crips, pink apples, Fuji apples. I love Fuji apples. Gala apples. I don't know what this is. Jazz apples. I didn't even know that was a thing. I don't know what this is. Fuji apples, oh crap. Maybe I'll go with green just because I use these ones in pie. I think I'll do that one. Okay, I know lighting is not pristine right now, but that's because it's also 11.20 p.m. and we've been gone all day, but we're gonna make some apple pie tart kind of things and I'm gonna haul everything that I got for you. So, first of all, Paulina's sitting back there on the couch. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that I got is this Cook and Carry Eco Foil, which is like a tin pan thing. I also got some pie crust. As as I said earlier, you can make the pie crust, but I am a little lazy and I'm just gonna use this pre-made pie crust. I also have eight Granny Smith apples because as I showed you earlier, they didn't have Macintosh or Golden Delicious. Oh, I also picked up some ground cinnamon, some unsalted butter, heavy whipping cream, flour, white sugar, and dark brown sugar. So obviously this is not a healthy recipe. This is traditionally like what goes into an apple pie, so it's definitely a sweet treat, but I have never made an apple pie, so I'm pretty stoked to try and make this, and I will link the recipe down below for you guys if you wanna try it as well. So it says to start with a caramel sauce, and it says to bring sugar, cream, and butter to boil in heavy medium saucepan over medium high heat, whisking constantly until sugar dissolves. Oh, dear goodness gracious. Oh my God, look how cute these little butters are. I need six tablespoons of butter, so one of these, and then half of one of these. Okay, one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream, which I don't even know if this is gonna be enough. This is an insane amount. Oh, perfect. There we go, that is a lot. And we're gonna pour this bad boy in with our butter. Yow. Okay, and last but not least is a cup and a half of dark brown sugar packed. So, I don't know if it's okay to use this, but we're gonna try because I don't wanna make a lot of dishes. Pack it in there. Now we're gonna add in the brown sugar, which I packed into this cup, and I'm gonna just, you know, get it in the bowl. Okay, now I'm gonna take this and put it over medium high heat and whisk until the sugar dissolves, and then boil it um, until it becomes caramel. So we're gonna see how this goes. I'm not really sure, but it smells good, okay. And I'm gonna stir it until it becomes caramel, and I'll come back once it does. All right, I've been boiling it, and it's looking good. It's only been like a couple minutes, so I'm gonna leave it to thicken into caramel sauce, and it's looking Fabu, and it smells good too. Can you smell anything over there? Mm hmm. Mmm, it smells good. Okay, I think it's ready. It looks like it says that it coats the spoon like with a thick consistency, and I feel like it's pretty much good. So I'm going to turn off the heat and just let it sit and rest for a little bit. 
like so and now we can move on okay guys so I have decided to just voice over this part of the video because it's pretty self-explanatory after that I just moved on to the apples and I peeled them like so with my little peeler and then all I did was cut them and I got this cool little like core thing from TJ Maxx for a few bucks and it basically just takes the core out and slices the apples and it's just great then I went ahead and mixed my white sugar my flour my cinnamon and my cardamom 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 I don't even know how to say it but all those spices and everything together mixed it and then went ahead and put my apple slices into that mixture and coated them and then once I was all done I went ahead and took my pie crust oh I'm still mixing still mixing then we took my pie crust and I put it into the pie pan and just kind of pressed it down and then went ahead and cut off the excess, threw my apple slices in on top and then after that I had a bit of an emergency so I ended up having to put the apple pie into the fridge overnight and now we can carry on. Okay guys, so I'm back. It is the next day. It's currently like 5.40 p.m. I just got back to my apartment. We need to get back to the pie now. So as you guys saw, I um, made my pie and I put it all in this cute little pie tin. It's really heavy. It's like seven pounds I want to say that is pretty heavy I'm going to be honest it doesn't look too cute I don't think it's supposed to set out overnight like this but all is going to be fine I'm going to set my fridge or my fridge I mean my oven to 375 and bake it I'm not sure if I should put like a top crust on it because as I said it looks a little bit sad I'm gonna put it in the oven and I'll catch up with you when it's out Steph just uh, got here and she just got her hair done and it looks beautiful. So I just took the pie out of the oven. I left it in for about 45 minutes and I don't want it to burn. So I think it looks pretty good. And oh, I also put a little um, top crust on because it wasn't looking too cute underneath. But I think it looks okay. It cracked a little bit because some of the juices came out. So I had to clean that off. But I think it looks okay. Especially when you cut it up, it'll look I cute. I think it looks delicious. Thank you so much, Steph. Um, now we cut. Would you like to taste test? Um, yeah. <laughs> piece. I've got my slice of apple pie. Steph has a reaction. What would you like to say about it? I just said before she turned on the camera, <laughs> I'm gonna have another piece it, after this. I think it's pretty good. I took a little small bite already, but you can't really tell. But if you want your apples to be softer, I'd leave it in for a little bit longer. But I'd say this first cooking with Remy is a success. More of a baking with Remy. Okay guys, so I had a great time. If you liked it, be sure to let me know down below. Um, with any other recipes of stuff that you guys like to see for the next Cooking with Remy, I plan on doing a lot more videos dedicated. So we'll go to the grocery store and shop together and things like that. So comment down below, like link me recipes if you guys can um, to things you guys want to see me make and I will make them. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>